Hello coders, welcome back to Prime Coding channel again and in today's video, I will be telling you the biggest, biggest problem which you will face in the programming questions is compiler issue. Yes, most of the people, I would say 40 to 50 percent people will face compiler issue in TCS NQT 2025 of campus examinations because if I go live, if I post a video everywhere, I got a message in the comment is please sir let us know how to overcome from compiler issue okay so in this video i will be letting you know multiple situations and how you need to overcome from it because from very soon i will be posting problem solving questions as well which is previous year question but before going to it you should be well versed with taking the input because it is of no use if you are not able to take the input then how much no logic you know you won't be able to apply most of the people in 2024 batch or 25 batch in the priority hiring uh, uh, thesis and QT phase, they were able to solve the question. They cracked the logic, but they're not able to take input. So I don't want my viewers, my prime coding family members face this particular issue. So let's begin this video. I am Alta Mishra and you, if you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing it because it will motivate me in multiple manner okay so many students get failed due to this very silly problem okay so let's discuss it now the very first situation that you may find is size is given which is the best case okay size is given as well as okay white flood itself i chose so size is given and array values are given okay now tcs has all liberty that they can give you in many uh, any format it could be that they will say n is 4 and n is equivalent to 4 is also given to you in the worst situations but from now onwards this is just an imaginary one don't take it that in this way they will give you input no in not in this way just imagine 4 and the next line 5 4 3 2 1 will be given to you okay stay till then because i will let you know multiple code snippets with the homework problems also so that you won't be facing this issue in the interviews or in the examination okay so this is the best case where 54321 is given in the respective data type and uh, 4 is the size being given but what if what if a size is not there because in c++ and in java you need size otherwise you won't be able to take but in python it is very easy if size is not there then also i will take if size is not there then also i will take but here uh, it is the best case which I discussed. Now, no size and array input. That is another case, which is 5, 4, 6, 2, 1 is given. No size is given. Just a line with all the numbers. It is given to you with spaces. Now, this is the another situation. Third situation is nothing is known. It may be this one. It may be this one. It may be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This one. It may be they also have parenthesis. And it may be they have flower bracket in the input. And they will not let you know in which format they are giving how you will let you know that whether which condition you need to apply depending upon the error how you need to find the error it just beside of uh, the submission button or run test button you will find a uh, info button or any button would be there you just need to click you will get an array message okay error message what is the error message or okay if you are if you applied this particular which is a simple layman approach will all the coders will apply if applying this get you a error which means you are missing out in the input structure that you need to take care okay so please or there is a best thing if you are keep on getting the errors and not able to figure it out what is actually happened then try catch is known for it okay in the output compiler itself you will get which particular error you are facing but i will let you know how to tackle all the situations in multiple languages you need to stay till the end okay and exception is strings ain't anything they will specify in the question that they are providing the integer inputs but when you will take the integer input it will be giving you the string inputs so this is the major tragic part okay first of all go with the question it may be this time they have improved their compiler so first of all give a try with the question statements if you're not able to take input then slowly apply the situationals approach which i will let you know just now okay so now let's begin our video from the very thing which is a best case which is four is given one two three four is given okay so we'll discuss the c plus plus first and eventually java and python okay so input with size this is the function which i created now you may ask arita where i can get this functions where i can get this code which you wrote we'll let you know that Okay, so int and 
see in and which will take you the size of this particular input which question states that you need to take n input then vector array because you need to store into array then only will provide some logic into it or apply it isn't it so this is the very casual way to take input that you can take and fill the array respectively and you can print accordingly okay so yes this is the best case thing if your co compiler is working on the point whatever they're mentioning they're giving into that you can use this uh, particular format and you will be receiving uh, the array values and you can perform your logic okay another situation is this one when they will give you input in a single line where no uh, nothing is given not even a single point of array size also what you will do this is another situation which is this one avoid input as string you will take this input into a string whatever i have please give me into the string which i will do is get line what get line do get line do is whatever content i will have in this particular line take it as input and provide a variable name as like which means line will have all the data in that particular line which we took okay so yes vector int added because we uh, we need to have now string stream you can use okay you can use any any library okay so please make sure that you will include um, bits std uh, ioh isn't it std c++ dot s then only you will be able to use multiple kind of things so string stream you can use i will let you know more optimal approaches too but yes this is the another approach which students use and they were able to do it i will show you that code as well which works in tcs and qt compiler yes i am here with all of the things which you require i just need your support subscribe and like this video so that we'll both go together grow together and we'll reach to a destination isn't it so string stream line will uh, set your line stream so that we can parse into it okay so now int num ss is equals to num which is all this stuff now make sure make sure in our line we have everything is string but we are parsing on the num so if we have num in the string it will be uh, appended into my array as this particular line states and yes uh, array from string using string stream you can print it accordingly i will give you this core code snippets you just need to make your hand dirty on this particular topics whatever feels good you can apply but i will let you know the best approaches as well okay so input without size already created another function which typically works same as before but this is the best case where we know that the compiler is providing into integer num because let's say a uh, question states that you will be providing an array need to perform summation of all the elements present in the array and the array will be given like this you don't know whether it is in string format whether it is in integer format and what would be happening not a problem just do this a particular approach and get those value say say that if you get an input error if you get an input error that you need to apply the another situation which will let you know okay or you can apply this one as well this one as well because there are chances that it is not in the integer format it is in the string format so you need to parse it you can apply this approach will help you out into it but yes wait for the another situations a uh, condition so array push back num done it will push back all the number which is coming till the end of that particular line eo okay because this this is the most famous or i would say more famous error which most of the people got in their compiler whenever they try to run eo error eo error eo error so you need to make sure that it should not come into your compiler if it is coming which means you have an uh, input array problem or input error problem so you need to rectify it okay so in the best case you can apply this particular function which will take num put into the array and you can print it accordingly or whatever you want to perform you can do now let's talk the another best thing which is most used input format most used input format will now speak about it okay so let me uh, make it big great so string line whatever i have i will take it into the string format i am not taking care of because i know i tried this particular way 1 2 3 uh, okay okay i have mentioned or uh, i mentioned the commas so 1 2 3 4 5 in the respective format as question state that they will providing integer but i am getting eo error i am getting input error which means there are chances that this is in the string format so i applied it the string stream a uh, particular thing still i am getting eo error and if you want to apply string stream you can otherwise you can use this particular approach which is most used input format okay which is which help you in your worst case worst case okay so yes vector int array string num str colon colon you are creating a now 
Now, because why you are creating a num? Let's say this is the input which is given to you in this particular format. It may be they have a flower bracket as well. It may be you have multiple kind of things. But but you need to look over the stuff which I, I will let you know. So what you will do is, let me consider this particular uh, input array, okay? Where we have square brackets and the commas with me. You don't know. Compiler is providing into this particular format and you think that it will be in the space uh, separated banner, but it is not. Okay, so you need to look into. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, yes, uh, you just need to iterate. Your CH will iterate on all the character which is present. And if it is each digit, if it is each digit, you just need to uh, add it into your num. Okay, whatever CH you have. Why? Why you want to add? I will let you know with the worst case situation. Just need to stay calm and stay till the end. So, if any time I found that my num star it not is not empty. It's not empty, which means it is not digit. Now I encountered a comma. If I encountered a comma or if I saw a comma, I just need to append whatever I have, whatever CH has built into my input array so that I can put my logic and solve this particular question. Okay, so this is the particular thing. And after that, please make sure that you will uh, make it empty again. Okay, why, why I told you is this because of this season one. Then we have 2, 3, 6, then we have 4, 5. So let's say if you have this array. Or if you don't do this, if you don't do this, what will happen is 2, 3, 6 is also considered as single, single digit, which we don't want to. Actually, it is 236. But if you don't apply this particular uh, else if condition, then you will not get two, three, uh, 236. You will get 2 as a digit, 3 as a digit, 6 as a digit. Okay. If you don't believe my words, Go and write on it, you will get the particular thing. So, what will happen here is ch value come to one, it will see it is digit. So, in my num.str will add one into it. So, my one will add it here. Then we have comma, whatever uh, is been stored in my num string, I will append into my array straight away. So, yes, I've appended. Now, it's your task is to convert into integer, just type cast it, and you are done. Okay. And after it, after just adding into it, just make sure you make sure uh, you have. Uh, Dream is slicer num str to empty, which I did. Okay. So now my character will come to here. Then only I did this. Now will my character come to two. So I added two. Now again I saw the digit. So I added my ch has three. I did three. I again saw the digit. Why I added six. Now I again saw a non-digit. If I saw the non-digit, just apply what it says. If it is a non-digit string to integer, I converted this string to integer. Then I need to append it. So I appended into it then please make it empty so that will accommodate new numbers or new digits okay so now my this thing will again comes to back because i encountered a comma now my ch will come here it will become four it will has four added four then we have five we have added five and again we encountered this square close square bracket it is not a digit then whatever i had i just need to put it into my array but don't forget to change its uh, type to swing into integer i did 45 and now after this 45 just make it empty again now why why i did this because it may be you don't have anything in the last then what will happen in the worst case you should check whatever num i have because let's say if you don't have any this symbol or this symbol which is non-digit you won't be able to process whatever has been created till num str so your num str with or if you don't process it, your array will look like only this 1 and 236. But you need to have 45. So again, I will check if my numstr is not empty, which means I have something with my numstr which I need to append into my array. And I will do it in the end as well. So that I will vote. I won't leave any base, base cases or any of the edge cases in my program. And I will be getting prime opportunity right away because two questions were very easy. The biggest problem is this input input compiler issues, which I, I have made the things easy to understand. So, your task is to comment down. Yes, I got this approach and you need to practice it accordingly. Okay. So, now, what is this? What is this, Aditya? This is a TCS NQT 235, 3rd of October, shift 1 or 2, uh, something like that. It is a question of it. Now, what it says, what it says, see, this is an accepted code. This is an accepted code on the compiler itself where a candidate did this STRS, get line, C in L S, then just calling up the function. Now you people will ask, sir, calling a function is required. Can I write in a single go? You can write in a single go. But when you have a multiple kind of issues such as input error and the programming error, you should have the chunks different so that yes, my this chunk is 
correct i don't need to look over into it i have some input problems i just need to look into my main function if i have some prob uh, programmatic errors i just need to look over my function which i built okay that's why that's why we need to have a good habit of writing the function so yes he took into a single line whatever it has whatever it has will took into a single line okay and will just call will just call the function which i created which is this one okay don't worry about the implementation for now just look into the input i will cover this question again i will cover this question again on my youtube channel so that you can prepare this question for your upcoming interviews just let see how this has been passed and created an array okay so int array has been initialized if that particular character which is present into my string is digit just add into my array now you will say aditya a long story you told we need to take care of this 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 that that yes here in the question itself they told that the number would be uh, the number would be which is array of i would be less than equivalent to 10 or less than equivalent to 9 from 0 to 9 they said that that's why this approach will work 100% otherwise let's say if your array has 2 3 5 it will consider 2 3 5 as a different different digit which you don't want okay so yes you need to look over the constraints as well so yes this is the particular format of solving the question i hope you got it now the people who are from c++ i am done now people from python java subscribe to channel like this video the video will come up soon very soon i have already recorded i will be uploading right after this video okay just subscribe to channel like this video now the people of c++ please 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 attempt this homework what is this homework homework says Four one three four five, which means four is the size of array, which will be given into a single string itself. This is a twenty twenty four type of input error questions. Okay, four is the size of the array, and one three four five is the element of the array which you need to pass. So yes, please let me know in the comment section how you can do it so that all of your peers and juniors or upcoming juniors will watch this video and get to know how to do this as well as two is the size and. Two comma, as you can see, there is comma symbol as well. Two comma one six. Two is L and one six is the element of the array. I hope you got it. Two four two five four three six five, which is five is the N and these are the element of my array. So this is the practice question which will make your hands dirty on this particular topic, so that you won't be doing this error again or performing this or uh, getting this error in your compiler again. You will be able to solve it for sure. Just you need to be very patient you need to have your mind cool then only you will be able to solve this question okay i got uf okay come i have few approaches which i need to apply and if any of the approaches work my question will be solved because question will be very easy the hard part is to take input sir okay i hope i hope you got cleared and yes the c++ python and java people have patience all the content is ready just stay tuned to this channel i will upload video soon please subscribe like and share with your friends so your friend can also get to know about these kind of errors and not perform the same errors in the interview itself okay so i have ended this video your task is to do this homework and comment in the below uh, comment section we'll meet you with a new video soon don't forget to like this video bye bye